It's Mark Oldman braving the snowstorm. See that snow? The snow of Boston at the Boston Wine Expo, one of the great wine festivals of the country. But let me tell you something. January in Boston is nothing to kid about, and I'm freezing. So I'm here to tell you about a soul-warming wine, you know, because I get so f***ing cold in this weather that, you know, I can't take it anymore. Let's go inside. Come inside with me. We're going to warm up with the best inexpensive winter wine. Hey, Mark Oldman, raving the cold weather of Boston to be at the Boston Wine Expo, the largest consumer wine expo. It's really great to be here, and, but I need to warm up. There are record low temperatures outside, and I need a wine that is just going to kind of warm me from the inside. So I'm about to introduce that wine to you. The problem is the wine is often confused with another wine. And let me tell you something. So much in the wine world is replete with confusing factors. In fact, in my new book, I talk about a secret society to confuse wine drinkers that must exist. For example, reserve in wine doesn't always mean a winery's best wine when you see reserve on a label. Uh, what else? Extra dry on a champagne label means a little bit sweeter than dry. Makes no sense. And a third factor in this secret society that confuse wine drinkers is Montepulciano. Montepulciano can be a town in Tuscany or it can be what we're talking about right now which is Montepulciano d'Abruzzo. This is the great Quattro Mani. And what I love about this is you can often get this ultimate recession cold weather wine. You could get really good Montepulcianos for $12, $10, sometimes even $8. And it's very dependable. See, you have a nice kind of blackberry look to it. It's rich looking, but it's not going to be too rich because this is from Italy. Uh, the center of southern Italy. And then when you taste it, first you smell it. Spice, but nothing too overbearing. Blackberries and spice. Mm. And then you taste it, and it's smooth. Montepulciano d'Abruzzo is uh, dependably smooth. Sometimes Italian reds can be dry, tannic, almost to the point of being dusty. But Montepulciano, I love it because it's smooth and because it's medium to full bodied, so it goes so well with the spirit warming dishes, the red sauce, lasagna, ziti, manicotti, even a little minestrone soup that would warm my insides in this record cold temperature. One other advantage of Montepulciano is it's almost like the wine Gewürztraminer. Once you learn how to pronounce it, and it is just Montepulciano, once you learn how to pronounce it, you feel like an insider in restaurants. It gives you that little step of confidence. So when you're out on a date, you're like, no, no, I'm not going to have the Merlot. I'm going to have Montepulciano. Now that's sexy, friends. Okay, I'm Mark Oldman, coming at you from the Boston Wine Expo, always reminding you to push it.